NASA's proof of heaven. One that we often hear mentioned in a sermon topic is about heaven. The word appears 327 times in the Old Testament and 255 times in the New Testament. Even Jesus mentioned 32 times during his entire course of his three years ministry. Perhaps we have a query running in our mind about the exact location of heaven? And what would heaven be like? Heaven in the Old Testament, from the Hebrew word Samayim, and Greek Aranus in the New Testament, refers to the area above the earth which includes sky, air, the star, planets and the entire galaxy, or the place above the sky and God's dwelling place. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, New King James Version, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. It gives a clear picture of what God has done during creations. The above account of the word, heavens, in a plural form not just one but many. The first heaven is the sky and the abode of the birds, which we can see with our naked eyes. Let us consider this, Revelation chapter 19 verse 17, King James Version, and first saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowl that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. In the second heaven, we can find the stars, the moon, and galaxies of outer space. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, King James Version, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Through this verse, it is referring to the place of darkness and the residence of Satan as the prince power of the air and his angels with him. This realm is the residence of the dark forces after when Lucifer rebelled against and one-third of the fallen angels dwells after they were cast out from heaven. This is also the place where the prayers and answers of our prayers are bound and captured by the demonic forces. In the book of 2 Corinthians 12-2-4 says, I knew a man in Christ above fourteen years ago, whether in the body, I cannot tell, or whether out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth such an one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body, or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth how that he was caught up into paradise, and heard unspeakable words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Paul wrote to the Corinthians about his supernatural experience being caught up to the third heaven but what he heard and saw he did not elaborate further detail about it. But for Paul seeing the highest heaven of heavens, the abode of the angels, saints and God's home was a great privilege. Let us consider the account that the discoveries were made by NASA on February 8, 1994, beforehand the newly repaired Hubble Space Telescope in mid-December. A researcher was able to print a copy of Dr. Masson's findings of the photographs of heaven images. A NASA expert says that the pictures printed are the proof they are waiting for. Furthermore, he added that he is confident that someone had influenced his choice to direct the telescope to a specific region of space. NASA forwarded copies of the images to Pope John Paul II even to President Bill Clinton and Vice President Al Gore who first expressed interest but never denied or confirmed its authenticity. Many people nowadays have testified on the internet about their rupture experiences and how God revealed the secrets of heaven and hell to some of the chosen men and women of this end time. They claim that heaven is a magnificent place filled with numerous mansions made of pure gold and precious stones, their description is similar to that in the book of Revelation chapter 21 verses 18 to 21, King James Version, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second, sapphire, the third, a chalcedony, the fourth, an emerald, the fifth, sardonyx, the sixth, sardius, the seventh, chrysolite, the eighth, beryl, the ninth, a topaz, the tenth, a chrysoprasus, the eleventh, a jacinth, the twelfth, an amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls, every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. NASA upon careful verification of the images are real and it is impossible for life to exist in that kind of atmosphere but only souls that dwell in God's habitation. NASA discoveries are the evidence to help us confirm the good plan of God for humanity. Jesus told his disciples not to get troubled for great joy is awaiting for us and he will ascend to the Father in heaven to prepare mansions for his children.
If you want to share your experiences about revelation in heaven and hell or prophetic messages, send it to us in this channel. Thank you for watching. God bless us all. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get updated for new videos.